Hey there UK ADCers, today I'm unboxing this, which is the Benchmade 318 proper. This is the clip point version. And as always, Benchmade do an exemplary packaging job. And uh, they obviously colour coded it to, they got the blue class black, and I think they used to have a red class. And obviously they're gold class if you've just got more money than cents. Like everyone in the knife world. So, as with uh, every bench made, you get yourself, uh, I suppose I'll get the shit out of the way, a little uh, use and care manual, who cares, and um, just your lovely little pouch there that gets to live in the box for the rest of its life. And there you go. So this is uh, the green Makata, which is nice, I haven't got a Makata knife yet, so I am very much looking forward to using this one. So it's S30, S30V, which is uh, absolutely fine steel, I'm completely okay with that. Uh, you've got a little bit of jimping up here, but um, I see this is fairly stiff to open with a half stop there, which um, I'm not a fan of half stops, so I already don't really like that. I like to just be able to have one smooth open which you can do with a bit of force but my big concern is that it stops there whereas uh most of my slip joints like if i just grab something like this if you uh if you try and leave like it snaps back past a certain point see like just like that this doesn't appear to have much, if any, of that. Once it's broken past that point, see what I mean? Uh, it did there, but like the delay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but yeah. Mm. Look at that. I mean, that's very easy to just. Look, ooh. the delays are quite worrying. I like a weak spring, but the thing is, this isn't a weak spring because it's certainly no like it does it there. That's fine in the closed position. It's the open position that it's astonishingly weak in. Really, doesn't want to. <laughs> Honestly. Yikes. Okay then, Benchmade. Guess you guys know what you're doing. So you get your little butterfly there. Um, so it looks like these are all captive on this side. And you've just got your Torx bit on that side. Um, oh yeah, I can see that's phosphor bronze washers there. And the liners just have four holes cut out. And some smaller holes in there just drilled out for space saving and the little pin there at the top or machined bit just to stop the blade smashing itself into the back spine there. So spines, uh, the sp spine spring, whatever it is, is uh, all one piece. Goes all the way back round, even round the uh, lanyard hole there. Hmm. I do like the nail nick on this. It's not like... A more traditional nail neck like um that's a bit dirty this one now like say that there uh i do prefer this style yeah to be fair yeah this one doesn't do it either but this is by no means a um it's not a bad knife it's just i wouldn't call it a stunner but um Yeah, I can see 
A lot of people have criticised the proper on its weak spring, and I can see exactly what they're talking about. Uh, people have mentioned the XM Slippy has a weak spring, and that has a weak spring in that it's very easy to open and it's very easy to close. And I mean, obviously, I'm not struggling with this at all. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll I'll do a proper review of this proper. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, that seems like I I can understand a lot of people's grief with how weak that spring is immediately off the bat. So it does feel very nice in the hand, though. It's like it's not a big knife by any means. It's um obviously a traditional, and uh, I'm not. I'm not a super fan of traditionals, but I did want a Makata knife. I did want a legal carry bench made. I've got an Osborne, but obviously that's a locking knife. So, uh, so this ticked both of those boxes. So I'm I'm going to be carrying it in. This was a very cheap. Uh, I think it was six pounds off of a uh, Heine as well. Just a little belt. I've cut the top off because this didn't fit in with it. This is the small size. I'm just going to put that on my belt loop and then. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if not, I'll have to do something about it, like with a lanyard maybe or something. But yeah, it's by no means heavy. It's not light either though. There's definitely a presence there. It's not uh, not like a UK PK where it's just unbelievably light. So yeah, I guess that's about it for the uh, the unboxing. That's what you get. That's my very, very brief first impressions. I do like the blade shape there. I guess I, I should do sharpness out of the box really, shouldn't I? Um, not on the old paper fest, everyone loves this. I know it's not a magazine, but I don't really have any of those here. Seems fine to me, no issues with that. That'll be fine. Um, and it's a nice thin grind, which I'm a, I'm get, I'm, I'm becoming a really big fan of like extremely thin knives. They just work better. So yeah, yeah, that's my first impressions on the, the Benchmade proper there. Thanks for watching.